Hey again, it's Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I recently got a chance to go to a really fancy consignment store that I usually don't get to go to. I haven't been there for years. I had a great time and I saw some super pretty things. So if you love French country style or English country style, this video is for you. Let's jump in. Look at that gorgeous basket. I would love to keep that in my TV room for blanket. And that was a really cool lantern and I love those baby elephants. The set reminds me of my mom's everyday dishes from the 70s. Oh, I like that plate behind there too. It was all false graph. Wish it was a different color. Wish it was white with the blue. Look on its side, that was a really cool one. I have so many old trunks, but I wouldn't mind having about a dozen more. They're so handy for, they can be coffee tables, end tables, blanket chests, they're just great. I liked that mirror, that was a cool shape. Looks like somebody had painted it too. Ooh. It's kind of a cool chest. I kind of like the paint job on it, sort of coastal looking, or it could be Swedish feel to it. They had some neat old chandeliers as well. Ooh, I liked that bright green chest. That was really fun. That would be a fun little nightstand for somebody. I actually would really like to paint a bed that color as well with the gold. These were cool. I really wish I could have got those from my boys' room. They were pretty pricey though. That's a pretty little table if you were looking to do some English country style, that dark mahogany look. And I liked that chest. That was a, I think it was an older lane chest. I never really saw one that looked quite like that before. Lucky lady. It's a, oh, Cavalier. That's not a lane. That's why I never saw it before. <laughs> Ooh, I liked that print quite a bit. I think it had been sold. I liked that French chair. The thing about those chairs is you want to do so much to sort of update them. And there were a lot of equine things in this booth, which would be also great for like an English study. Pretty, pretty platter. I really wanted to take that home with me. I don't know why I didn't. It must have been too expensive. I'm so cheap. And cute little teapot. I love teapots, but the reality is I only use my electric kettle, so I just always pass them up. There's some nice gingham fabric. You can do a lot with that could do pillows. It looks very French. It also looks very Swedish. I like these dressers and someone had done a very nice job painting them, but the colors are not to my taste and I found myself wishing they had not painted them, but that's okay. I love painted furniture, so I'm never going to criticize anybody who's painted their furniture. I just didn't like those colors. I liked these chests a lot. I would have stacked them up and used them as an end table or a coffee table. I love the patina on them. That corner cupboard was styled really cute with those tins. And these are some really great looking baskets here. I would have taken them all, but I didn't take any. Baskets are another thing that I probably don't really need any more of at this point in time. Wow, it's a very pretty table. That is a really cool sailing ship. Gorgeous. But the table was even more beautiful. I think it was oak. Some neat old prints. Ah, oh, that was an old they said it was an old library card catalog, but I've never seen a library card catalog in my life with porcelain handles, so I don't know. Michael Prince, again, if you were doing an English country style look, these would have been perfect. 
whole wall of them. I liked that bench quite a bit. Very pretty garden bench. There was a really neat trunk hidden under this fluffy pillow. Really big one. Ha, yes. No kidding. Yes, please, Santa. <laughs> I like that dress. It looked like a black print. Super pretty. And I kind of liked this old print as well. Something really peaceful about it. Ooh, and that was a like a print of a Cezanne. It's kind of nice. Here's another floral print. It would have been great for English country style. And some pretty blue china. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. So sweet. Yeah, I really like those little pieces there. And I liked this right tan, maybe, bench. That was a good looking thing. I like that a lot. Beautiful copper. So pretty. It said they were from England. They would have looked fantastic anywhere. And I love this little patio set as well. What a beautiful blue. Somebody must have spray painted this. I can't imagine that was its original color. Very fun. Maybe we want to have a cafe au lait somewhere. I kept going back to these copper, what are they? Oh, they're just beautiful. Some really pretty platters. Yeah, really not bad prices. It's, you know, not the rock bottom I like to spend, but if you were looking for something special in particular, I think they would be great, like a gift for someone. Baskets with liners. I kind of like that print back there too. And the curtains in that booth, I liked quite a bit. There was some kind of pretty toile fabric. Some more baskets up there. And a crystal chandelier. Which I also liked, hanging off of a shutter. Very charmant. And then these, har this was a harvest table. I guess you could hire the guy to build them for you. I really liked the table runner and tablecloth on the top very, very much. Someday I'd love to get a handcrafted table for sure. Another awesome trunk. That one's really cool, great shape. And then this beautiful Chinese piece. I hope you enjoyed that tour through the consignment store. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe for more Thrift With Me and Antique With Me videos. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Bye-bye.